What's going on guys? Your boy X here today we're doing that ranking of Kings episode 23 live reaction. I think we got one more left, I believe. Now let me know if I'm wrong or I'll find out probably. But yeah, um last we love out, I'm actually surprised. I saw a lot of people in the comment section hate last episode, and you know, I can see why, you know, uh, Miranda just getting a slap on the wrist, basically, like, everything's good, she's over here killed so many people, but it's like, eh, eh, and we don't know if that's true just yet, I mean, we gotta wait and see, but right now it's looking like especially since you know um a, a day that's almost awesome. oh yeah she's just gonna she's gonna be my wife <laughs> it was like what so i don't know we'll see how that turns out this episode but let's go ahead and get started remember though guys for more ranking of kings live reaction slash reviews make sure the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel we're still trying to get to that 40k so if you're new here or you're coming often and you ain't subscribed yet Hit that subscribe button and join the fam. We out here, you know. Let's get it. Bye. About to begin this, guys. And five, four, three, two, one. Let's get. All right. The king and the sun. Yeah. I mean. I mean. Some strong words you're spitting out there, buddy. Whoa. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. She killed your mama, Boji. What are you? She damn near killed a couple folks. Ain't no way. I know this queen. <laughs> I knew she didn't switch that quick. Boy, even the spirits are forgiving her. But what's. Oh my god, she got a thumbs up? Ain't no way. Boy. <laughs> Ain't no way. You know, but <laughs> this actually brings up a good question that I always thought about, like, if you believe in the afterlife, like, the fact that, like, this fool had two wives, right? It's like, so what happens when both of them die and they get to the, <laughs> to the other side? It's like, oh, well, <laughs> I've got two. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> See, I asked this question last time. Somebody in the conversation was like, Oh, yeah, of course, Boot is the king. And I was like, God, oh, they ain't said it yet. Wait, what did they just say? A relinquish? What? Oh. Huh. Oh. Come on. This, this right here isn't making it. This is making it up. Oh boy, Data's come a long down way. I'm not that good a person. Boy, Boji, you better take this shit. God, that is sexual harassment. <laughs> Look at the light beaming. Come on. Oh my god. This is crazy.
I wouldn't have said that actually. I ain't gonna lie to you. I would have kept that one in the tuck. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Mm, even the snake is crying. Jesus. Oh. Oh, even his bro is crying. This is what I wanted. I feel like they're giving me halves here. I wanted Moranjo to suffer in hell, but I guess we didn't get that one. We didn't get that one, but... <laughs> Let's toss him in the air. You the last person I want touching me. This fool over here dodging everybody. Boji like, I don't want nobody touching my ass. Wow. God damn, how high did they toss this man? Holy shit! Toss this man to the stratosphere, why don't you? Oh boy, they going full straight on kill him before he even get a chance to sit on the throne. You know, this is actually reminding me. This is this right here is reminding me of when Naruto uh, talk no juice and pain, look at this guy. But yeah, talk no juice and pain, and he goes back to the village, and everybody in the village just starts throwing up in the air. And I said, man, Naruto should end right here. This would have been a perfect ending right here. Didn't get it, of course. Come on. Wait, did he just in one hand her? Hmm. I can't believe he feels like that actually after all this that's been going on. Hmm. Wait, doesn't he still have his rapier? Oh, he really left. Wow. That's unfortunate. That's gotta be real boring to have to like hear everybody's problems. <laughs> master Kage, see they even gave him the title of master. How you go how you gonna dip out when you got the ma the title of master? At first, when, when he had the little flashback, when he touched the crown, I was like, damn, did he just forget about Kage like that? <laughs> this idiot! <laughs>
出して影にするのか時が来れば違う道を歩むのは珍しいことじゃないいつまでか同じ道を進み続けるなんてねそんなのも奇跡みたいなものだろううん Yeah, that really sucks. I thought he was really gonna be by this man's side. What are you, what are you doing? God, now it's looking like he's debating on if he even wants this shit. So I put the real crown on. Come on, son. No, taking this fool away. Changed it up real quick. Wait, what's going on? No, oh, I yo, I swear to y'all, I forgot all about this. But oh my god, he's releasing him. <laughs> I thought we weren't gonna have Oaken anymore. <laughs> I thought we were done. Why well, thought we were dead? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, cause see what he wants revenge or something? What the? Huh. Well, goddamn. Just to do that, huh? I'm not gonna lie, they actually did kind of what I said how they could be Oaken. Remember, uh, for those that watched my other video, I said they could pull a vampire diaries and just throw them like in the ocean or something. And that's kind of, you know, the head. Wow. That was this fool coming back. Oh, now, now everybody want to be all nice to him and shit. It's Sad music playing. Look at this guy. Did she just now figure that out? Yeah, yeah. Heavy wears the crown. Yeah, you, you hear it all the time, huh? Is this man building a house? 
Boy, this shit look... Well, I mean, he is small, but... The Reborn. Hire me. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, damn, all right. I ain't gonna get no job like that. Wow! Boys just straight destroyed his shit. I'm happy he has like a <laughs> that positivity. I thought that was one of those full snakes. Or was it? Oh, maybe it was. What the hell? That's creepy as shit! What the hell? It was a dream. What kind of dream is this? Ain't no way this fool is here. What? Ain't no way. This fool. Oh, okay, so that was one of his snakes. I, I had a feeling. I was like, okay, random ass snake in the grass. The sunshine on you. Damn. Mm. Fool's crying. Oh shit. I mean honestly, what did they find him in like in a day? I don't I don't know how long it took him, but Nigga what Oh, this better be a good ass reason. Damn near West here is a good reason, but oh my god. I'm, I'm kind of not mad at him. Oh 
Oh my god. I'm gonna I'm I'm say everything in the review portion. <laughs> I'm gonna say everything in the review portion. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Is this the last episode? Cause if it's okay, if this is the last episode, I'm a, I have a different take. Um, it depends. I gotta see. Cause this feels like this would be the finale for season one. If it is, I have a different take in my review portion. All right, yeah, this is the season finale. Holy shit, 23 episodes. So, this actually, because this is the finale, this changes my whole perspective. Because I swear to y'all, I was about to... <laughs> it even still, a little bit. It's just a little bit. But, okay. So, let me get the, the, the gist of everything first. So, basically, Boji ends up becoming king, right? He becomes king. Data relinquishes um, his kinghood and gave it to Boji and whatnot. You know, everything was good. Everything was great. For some reason no i mean it's not for some reason he told us why but kage ends up leaving because he feels like his job his duty to boji is complete he has um he has gotten boji to his goal to become king and he feels like you know all right so now that you're king you don't need me anymore i'm gonna go off do my own thing and you know just try to live a new life you know that's basically kage's mindset now in return Boji, he's doing his king duties or whatever with the people of the kingdom. And at the same time, he's like, you know, remembering Kage. And he's like upset that Kage left. He, you know, at the beginning, he was like looking around for him. But, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, he might have left. Sorry, Boji. <laughs> Boji's like all upset. He's looking around the castle and shit for him. Couldn't find him, right? Um, and we end up finding out that, you yeah, know, Ka uh, Kage left, he ended up going to, like, I guess some close town? I don't even know where he went, but some town where, you know, the, he was trying to get, like, a job, because he, he was like, I'm not going to steal anymore, I'm not going to do any of that, and it was, you know, because of Boji, you know, basically, Boji rubbed off on him for the, and for the better. And he's all like, you know, I'm going to be like a good person, a reborn Kage, right? Um, so, he was trying to get a job. Nobody would give him one. And even the people in the town, someone was like, oh, he's a shadow clan. You know, like some shit like that, right? And I think somebody in, the somebody in the town, I think, destroyed his house that he did. But regardless, you know, he had a dream about Boji. Very creepy dream. He was like tickling him or whatever. It was weird. But, yeah. So, he ends up waking up and he starts thinking about Boji. All of a sudden, Boji hops out the bushes. And I forgot to mention the snake. I guess the snake found him right yeah the snake found him like that night and anyway they found him in the morning boji hopped up turns out boji relinquished his kinghood and gave it back to data and the reason he did that was because he wants to make his own kingdom from scratch now here we go so <laughs> first of all I'm, I, at first I was kind of mad I ain't gonna lie I was kind of mad that boji would do that because it's like he had everything basically, right? He had he had the people, he had, you know, I guess you know his mom, his brother, he had like everybody, right? And the kingdom was his for the taking, it was right for the taking, right? Um, but he relinquished it back to data. Now, I'm not as mad now when I had time to think about it because you know, basically, like like you said, he wanted to do what his dad did, where he just started from scratch, made his own kingdom. And by doing so, if you really think about it, by doing so, he's able to, you know, have his own, like, you know, have his servants, the ones, like, whoever, right, have the ones he, like, trusts in, um, friends, whatever, you know, he just starts from scratch like that. So, I do like this, and it does give the story more of a continuation by doing it like this, because had Boji became king, or whatever, and found Kage at the end and brought him back to the um, brought him back to the kingdom. It would have kind of felt like a finale, like you know, like it would have not needed a, another season. But by doing it like this, I you know I feel like yes, it uh, yeah I was like yes, you know there is a continuation and there's like you know a, a new goal in mind, you know. And we know Boji's super strong now, so like is and I, I mean we still have questions. 
like you know what happened to um what happened what is his name date 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 day ba day ba deja whatever a damn uh <laughs> number one king we don't know what happened to him um also with oaken which that was a funny ass scene fucking king bo just i forgot all about this fool he came out of nowhere he's <laughs> <laughs> he cuts his head off, throws his head, and then he tried to use his blood to like reattach his head, but he cut the blood so the head kept flying. And that shit ended up in like a lake or something, and a fish ate the head. So now Oaken's body's just like crawling to the head. I'm like, yo, this is funny as hell. So I'm guessing we're gonna get Oaken later on once he gets his head back. So I don't know. But. Yeah, man, at, at first, I, 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 that was the two things I was mad about this episode, was the fact that Kage left, like, like y'all are best friends, what do you mean your job is done, what, like, yeah, so, the, the, like, yeah, him leaving, and then, like, Boji relinquishing his kinghood, uh, to start a new kingdom at first, but I'm more so okay with that now, um, so, yeah, I don't know, um, when season two will be, but you know, this was a very, I think this was a very emotional um, season finale, you know, cause you, you just basically had Boji, he finally got what he wanted. You know, he wanted to be king, he finally got that. You know, everybody respects him, you see, you see it. He was like walking around town or whatever. I think, he was, I think he was helping an old person or something. You know, the kids were all happy and shit now. And they did the whole yip yip hooray on him and shit. He was looking at the kingdom. He finally got what he wanted, but he was still sad in the end because his friend left him. And that actually, that's actually kind of a lesson in itself kind of in the real world. You know, like, like what is your goals if you have no one there by your side, I guess you would say, right? Like, this actually sounds really good coming off the tongue, right? Like, cause, you know, everybody has goals. But if you don't have anybody there with you at the finish line, I guess you would say, it's almost for not. Not in every situation, but, you know, you always want somebody there. By side. Especially since Kage, he's like the only one that believed in Boji. If you, if like, well, I mean, it's to a degree, right? But he's the one that kind of got him on his path to where he is now. So, you know, the fact that he left, I was like, what? So, I am happy that they reunited at the end. And now Boji does have this new goal to, like, just make up his, like, you know, start his own kingdom. So, I'm curious how that's going to be, where it's going to go from here. And, you know, um, I guess you could say the bad guys in the future. Because, like I said, Boji right now, I think, is the strongest person in this show. And we all know that that can't be forever, right? You always got to have somebody that's going to give him a threat. Like, Oaken, for example... He's not as strong as Boji, but his regeneration, that's like, you know, the detriment there. So, um, I'm just curious yeah, in the future for season two, uh, who's going to be the bad guy or bad guys, um, and how the journey of Boji like, having his own kingdom will be. But uh, I enjoyed the episode. I think it definitely had a great meaning, and, and I've enjoyed this entire season. I'm glad that, you know, y'all finally pushed me to watch this show. This honestly has been, like, one of my favorite anime in a while, just from all the emotion and, like... Boji, Boji's just an amazing character. Like, Boji's just that guy. I, I don't think I've been this invested. I'm trying to think of another anime. And I damn near want to say Mob Psycho 100. Because with Mob, I'm just comparing a little bit. But, like, with Mob, I kind of could relate to him so much. Uh, and I, I I just love all the characters in Mob Psycho 100. And in Mob himself, like, he was, like, a good character to where you're, like... Um, kind of rooting for him in a sense. Not maybe, not, maybe not as much as Boji, but you kind of know what I mean. Like, and here, it's so mixture because I have characters that I hate so much in this. I have characters, you know, I have characters I hate, characters that redeem themselves in the end of season one, and then characters I love. And I love fucking Boji so much, man. Like, I, I just love this whole series so far, you know. Um, I think season one probably 10 out of 10 damn near. I know some of y'all, like I said, hated last episode. Um, rightfully so. But, I mean, and that was another funny thing I didn't mention, but the fact that the spirits forgave her, like, I'm like, yo, this is wild now. Like, this, this girl didn't kill how many people and y'all... <laughs> no, I mean, look, if they forgave her, then hey, I guess, right? 
I'm just saying, I'm just so surprised that she just got off scot-free like that. But I, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. I think that might have been the only weak writing in this entire thing. Um, but yeah, besides that, I think this is like 10 out of 10 right here. Like, this first season was just amazing, heartfelt. I would probably recommend this anime to probably... I think actually this would be a good anime. Like, if somebody doesn't watch anime, honestly, I was thinking about this the other day. I think if somebody doesn't watch anime, you know how like somebody like, oh, recommend me an anime to get into it. I think actually this would be a very good one. Because it's not so far off. I never try to give somebody like some like you know, um, way out there anime, like on some crazy shit, I'm trying to give them like some grounded anime to start them off, I honestly think this would be a very good one to start off with, it has great emotion, you know, nice action, and a great story, just like for season one, they might get mad because it's only 23 episodes, but I mean, this is a good anime to start off with, so... that's my overall thoughts of the entirety of, uh, the season as well as this episode y'all let me know in the comment section though what y'all thought of the entirety of this uh season one so far you know um what would y'all rank this and uh <laughs> what, what do y'all think of this episode because i know it's probably gonna be some mixed people this episode too uh to be honest but i did enjoy this episode i enjoyed this entire series i can't wait for season two. i need season two like right now probably won't get that shit to like next year most likely but uh we'll see on that but yeah that's all guys remember for more ranking the kings in the future a lot of reaction slash reviews and make sure that the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel hit the bell to get notified when i drop my videos also follow your boy on instagram twitter the discord as well as become a member of the channel all that's in the description box below. If you like the video, guys, like the video, comment on what your favorite part of the episode was. And as always, guys, it's been your boy X, and I'm out. Deuces.